Hello, welcome to the Daily Political Tarot Readings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I am here 365 days of the year to take your political questions out of the chat. Um, I, anything in all caps in the chat is how you communicate with me. Other than that, please just type normally. People here are really kind to each other and really support each other and, and uh, are really helpful. So uh, I, I don't get sucked into conversations that uh, people have going on. So just put things in all caps. Uh, it's questions are first come first serve. I take 12 of your political questions at 12 noon here in Chicago. And uh, I've, got you, I've got questions for today. 10% of um, my income from everything black and orange goes to feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. It's an ongoing thing. And we have epic troll slayers who keep us safe. Thank you. There have been some crazy bots out recently. Uh, thank you. And again, thank you for uh, your your super chats, your, your donations. They make a huge difference. Thank you. All right, so uh, I am here. I have got my cards. Um, I have got the most, it's the most obnoxious time of the year. I've got the loudest Christmas uh, overlay today that I own. And here we are. So I'll get right down to it. Thank you, Hippie Sue. Desert Dawn, could you mention that some names will have questions deleted? I don't know anything about it, I'm afraid. I don't know. Uh, it's 80 in Texas. Wow. It is 41 here in Chicago. Fahrenheit. Yes, I know. We're like the last place on earth that uses Fahrenheit, but here we are. All right. So, thank you. Thank you. Um, at two, we're jumping right in at two minutes, 30 seconds in. We are on it today. Two, 30. Okay. A little bit of a puzzle. Um, Trump. Trump gave Candace Owens Foundation over $350,000. He, he could, that, that man never parts with money. He doesn't pay for things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he did that just prior to her interviewing him. And the interview came out in the last 24, 48 hours. And apparently they got into it. I haven't seen it, but I heard that they got into it where she was, he was saying, you know, basically the vaccine's fine. And she was saying, absolutely not. Uh, so was he simply paying for good publicity or is this hush money? So she wouldn't air parts or what? What? I am confused. So let's have a look. What is going on here? Makes no sense. Trump, Trump parting with money? Thank you, B. Smith. Huh? Trump, you parted with three, you're doesn't part with three dollars and fifty cents same with Ghoulaine Maxwell apparently she would consistently stiff people for the bills consistently got two cards for the first one all right ace of wands all right she's going she's going hard right and It's it's possible the if the far right is just continuing to go far right, and they're kind of leaving Trump behind. How scary is that? It's called fascism. We don't want it here. 
Holly and Fred says it's not his money. It must be the money the RNC or his donors are giving him for legal bills. It, 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 but, but the money he's getting from the, the, the suckers, he can do anything he wants with. It's not campaign money. So, and RNC was for his um, legal bills. So, hmm. Let's see what else is here. All right, two cards right up front. There's the emperor and the chariot. Oh, yeah, that was that was a big thing. Magician. All right, I got two cards at the beginning. So this is the center card. Going up the river. Traveling. Then I've got a devil card and the three of this is this is her. She's uh, oh Trump, you are in big trouble. She's standing up. She's she's trying to talk to him, but they're they're. I'm starting to think there's a little bit of a gap forming. So Trump will be gone, but we're, I mean, we're still going to, we know we're still going to have to deal with the fascists for a while. You know. Um, but this is the corruption for the emperor. And, and they start looking elsewhere. Let me see what else I can get here. Here's Owen. Foundation. Donald Trump. Holly and France says yes, but does anyone trust him to use it for the stipulated purpose? Oh, my understanding is that I could be wrong. I thought the RNC money was going straight to lawyers, but I don't know that. Leah Backman is saying apparently Trump called Bill O'Reilly almost crying that he got booed at their last rally. Really? $350,000. What about the $350,000? Uh, the money. For what it's worth, I'm not getting, um, I'm not getting really strong energy one way or the other. I'm not getting nefarious whatnot. Uh, far right nonsense okay the moon page of swords sorry about the beeping in the background it's not mine strength judgment six of cups well you've got major arcana here and here hmm Hang on just a second. I'm sorry. I've got to go take care of whatever is beeping. I'll be right back. Or someone else will grab it. Okay. Yeah, it was after he got his booster. I understand. That's why they argued, but it's the $350,000. He's a bully. Strength. All this is saying he's is um, this is the next election and this is Democrats doing well. Her, she'll she'll stand up to him even though he's a bully. There's chaos and fear at the center of fascism, of course. I'm just I'm not getting massive. Uh, yeah, I'm just not getting a massive thing here. That's odd. I, I don't know. Hippie Sue has never tried applesauce. Hmm, interesting. It's good. Uh, 
um, some of the people on the far right, they're getting tired of um, being promised things that don't happen. You know that. Devil, poor people. There's, there's not much here. All right. I thought there would be, but there's not. I was hoping there would be, but there's not. Okay. At 11. Oh, this, this, this should be interesting. And possibly inevitable. There we go. Um, so, as a raw story has pointed out, Trump is getting closer and closer to confessing his own crimes. He's even holding an event this coming January 6th. How much longer before he blatantly admits to sedition? And will anything actually be done about it? But also just narcissism. This is this is narcissism. It's what it does. It's okay. Hippie, so I was looking for beeping in my house. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It wasn't mine. All right, Trump. You blurt stuff out all the time. And with Jupiter, I think Jupiter's on his descendant right now. Opposite his ascendant, which is how you present yourself. So, is Trump just going to, yeah, I did it. There's real potential there. Ten of Cups. All the evidence, we're going to see all the evidence one way or the other. Okay. That's good. Nine of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Ace of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Um, these are not loud cards. There's worry here. There's robbing Peter to pay Paul, of which is pretty much is the way he does business. Uh, this is, he's legally, he's toast, but this feels more like his business. Sort of truth would be the truth about his business coming out. Truth about the Republican Party, maybe. If it was a sort of truth and the the, pen, the um, ace of wands, I'd be like, yeah. But this uh, ace, the the pentacles are Republican, not not the far right fascism. He's going to say various boneheaded things, but uh, that's just a day ending and why. <clears throat> Joanne Moore says he's probably announcing he's running in 2924. <laughs> yep. And people are talking about recipes in the chat. Oh, if you're watching this on replay, all the questions are in the description box. You can just go down and pick and choose. I timestamp as I go along. So if you're here, you can hang out with us in the chat and all this kind of fun stuff. If you just want to, some of the answers to questions, you can go down and uh, choose, pick and choose from the political tarot readings buffet. Queen of Pentacles. 
I mean, obviously he's been told to keep his mouth shut, but <laughs> like that matters. I, I, I'm trying to read on sedition. I'm not getting, I'm getting New York. The New York thing is, is about to drop. It's going to drop first. It's yeah, this is New York. The, the family business, uh, real possibility of people going to prison, but I'm the star flashbulbs and being out in the cold having things taken away from them. I'm, I'm lack. The only, the energy I'm trying to read on, on uh, Trump and really, you know, admit to sedition and all this kind of stuff. And all I'm getting is his business is toast. He's, he's about to be charged with he, his, his family. They're about to be charged with all kinds of stuff. So, all right. So at 1630, we have Rhonda Cox's question, which is, will a Trumpetan and his ilk be sued for intimidation of election workers in Georgia and other states? Oh, yes, please. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you. Appreciate that. Happy holidays and happy 2022. Hugs. Yes. Okay, so this is going to be more like 17. Temptation of election workers. I don't know why my shoulders are so stiff today. Trump and his ilk be held accountable, sued for intimidation, sued or criminal charges for intimidation of, wow, lots of cards today, of um, intimidation of election workers in Georgia. Oh, feeling like that's part of it. It, just, it felt like it was attached to the uh, trying to intimidate the elected officials. And you needed 11,000, was it 11,780 votes or something? Just one more than you need. Ten of Cups. All right, these came out together evidence this is this is all the we're going to see the evidence this is the evidence all laid out of communications yeah it's it's not subtle it's not like oh gosh i don't know did that really happen he said she said it's like and let's roll the tapes king of pentacles queen of pentacles knight of wands Um, there is a point Republicans are going to learn that stirring up an angry populace is not a good way to gain power. All they have to do is learn, I don't know, go read anything about the French Revolution. Because that's what the aristocracy and the church, they did because they wanted more power back from the king and King Louis XVI was too weak. He didn't want the job. He just wanted to, he, he, his favorite thing to do was just fix clocks. He wasn't like his grandfather, son king, center of all, drawing all power to him. So people in the provinces, the aristocracy, the church, they wanted the their, their power back. So they decided that they could do that if they just stirred up the populace and forced the king to give up power. And it worked until they came for the aristocracy. So, uh, 
at some point they're going to learn not a good idea but it's, it's going to be a while before that happens uh close-up of my nails if you would like a close-up of my nails there you go it's like glitter on the ends of gold Glit all that glitters is not gold and my nails are glitter and gold <laughs> So this gold glitters. So, but being held accountable, Trump's gonna Trump Trump's is going to be in trouble for trying to pressure what's his name in Georgia. Thank you guys. I, like I said, I've said before, I take requests, you know. Uh, four of Swords. Could be kill the election. But the old, the old one. Two of Pentacles. Hermit. Nine of Swords. Got a juggle. Con artist. Um, shell game. Careful looking, worried. So, um, eh, I think it depends. But I believe, I want to say, isn't hasn't a grand jury been convened in Georgia? Or, or did I hallucinate that? Lisa Bennett, yes, silver and gold, silver and gold. Okay. Uh, 2230. Robin, he had a question. Oh, goodness, something went wrong. I hit the wrong button. 2230. All right. General Flynn, so we're talking, we're not talking about Michael Flynn, we're talking about Charles Flynn, his brother. Robin, had the question, are there spies on the ship General Flynn is commanding in the Pacific, sending intel back? Was he given the post so they could gather more evidence? He's, I, I am not going to try to, to guess his, I'm not going to just kind of wing what his, because he's head of the army in the pacific something something uh, general charles flynn charles a flynn is born in 1963 united states army general who serves as commanding general of united states army pacific and he's been there since june 4th so Um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else here. Yeah. Commander of United States Army Pacific. That's one heck of a um, post to be giving somebody if you don't trust them. So... Um, Now, this is interesting. An ex-DC National Guard aide says that Michael Flynn's brother lied to the House. This is two weeks ago. Hmm. So, so Robin E. wants to know if they're, they're keeping an eye on Charles Flynn, maybe gathering intel on him. I can throw three cards on that. And then... Um, this whole lying to Congress thing can't be can't be good. Generally a bad idea if you're a general in the army, in charge of a huge chunk of the army. So are they fruits of labor? Hmm. 
that's not intel, that's just work. Insult to injury, four of pentacles, full. Uh, he's trying to swan past what his brother does, but I don't know that he's entirely innocent. Entertainment only, just reading on the collective energy. But I don't see them gathering intel on him per se. Uh, we could ask this ex aide is saying that he lied to the house, which would be perjury, would be bad. Charles Flynn. It feels like you can get to the truth, but you're going to have to put this together with that and then this together with that to get the answer that's over here. So it's not straightforward. Hanged man. He might be in trouble. Charles Flynn. Eight of... Wands, Queen of Cups. People were on, and they see where they were on the defensive, trying to protect themselves and the other members of Congress from the the mob, trying to protect the the Democrat Democratic leaders, especially. Four of Wands. Has Charles shown any interest in Trump? Knight of Cups. Three of Wands. Somebody taking over his job. I've gotten this before. He's he's I, I'm getting he's gonna lose his job. That's that's what I got I, I got before, and that's what it feels like now. So. Hey Donna, thank you. So yeah, that's that's what I'm getting. All right, at 28, let's look at Hippie Sue's question. Do, 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 do. There's a uh, miners union open letter. I meant I did. I ran out of time to go read it, but I wanted to. Um, is the miners union open letter going to help change Mansion's attitude toward Build Back Better? Miners Union open letter. Seems I have enough clout and money to change Mr. Good Old Boy's uh, mind. Miner Union's open letter to to Mansion. He knows about it. No, Scary Hopper says no, it won't. Yeah. Has somebody? Has anybody here read it? Because I didn't have a chance. It's West Virginia. And for those who are new around here, I, I live. I've I've lived in many places, including West Virginia, off and on while I was growing up. So. Knight of Swords, Chariot, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands, Empress. This feels like them. It feels like... I feel like they're just the modern world is just sort of grinding over them. They feel very small. They feel, feel very small cons compared to these these other three major arcana and what I I call the loudest card in the deck. 
I, I, I'm not getting anything good there. Maybe they don't make big enough donations. Mansion, mansion, mansion. How does your idiocy grow? With betrayals all in a row. Electra Storm says, why doesn't West Virginia want better for themselves? I don't get it. Because some states get a, a sense of identity. They, they get a sense of this is who we are. This is the kind of people we are. This is what we're interested in. For the longest time, West Virginia was democratic, but they've gone more and more to the right over the last number of decades. Uh, and they're just, there are too many people holding on to coal, things like that. Plus the opioid problem hit them like a ton of bricks. So... Exactly, Grandma Rose. Those are the mine workers, not the mine owners. Not enough money. Their industry is dying. And Joe Manchin is a dinosaur in not in the sense of his actual age, but in the sense of trying to, to live in the past. And also, he's been there for decades. He, hasn't he been in, in Congress for like 30... Hasn't he been in office for like 37 years or something crazy? Mandy says, odd that they want to hang on to black lung. They, they want to hang on to whatever jobs they can get. And since in some... Their family, there's this long history of my my daddy worked in this mine, my granddaddy worked in this mine, my it's becomes this family thing, identity. So a little worrying. 33, let's have a look at Diane Skiles' question. Is Putin, yay, what a, what a lovely ball of energy he is. Is Putin creating havoc to draw attention away from what is going to happen to Trump? Interesting. Putin, yeah. you murderous little troll. Trying to distract, to distract from what's going to happen to Trump. Okay, I can hear I can hear his murderous little laugh. I don't think so. Yes. Vlad. Four of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Strength, Justice, Three of Wands. I, I'm, I, you know, I assume they have popcorn in Russia because I'm getting a mental image of Vlad. Uh, with a big bowl of popcorn watching the news about Trump. Trump can't really do anything for him anymore. And didn't do as much as Putin wanted him to, but that was quite the uh, low risk, low probability of success idea that, that Putin had to challenge, or so, yeah, to, to start interfering in the election, the 2016 election, and boy, did it pay off for him. Not as much as he wanted, but it's still. I, I'm getting bowls of popcorn. When, when justice starts to hit, it's going to hit hard. It's going to hit Mar-a-Lago. Um, 
well, Trump was a useful idiot. And they'll be looking for other places they can push forward the right wing. Whoever, whoever is on the right wing, on the, if, whatever fascist takes over that part of the party, Putin may start paying attention. But right, yeah, big bowl, big bowl of popcorn. He doesn't like Trump. So, and considering the energy he has is serial killer-like in nature, and I'm not being hyperbolic, I'm not exaggerating. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm walking away from that energy. Okay. 36 in a bit. So... Let's do 30, 36, 30. And thank you again for being here. I really enjoy, um, I, I really look forward to, to spending time with you. So, Electra Storm says, I just searched Google. Joe Manchin has only been in the Senate since 2010. He was governor of West Virginia before he came to the Senate. Yes, he's been in, but he's been a professional politician for decades. And he's set in his ways, so, yeah. Um, okay, this is, this is potentially very exciting. Walter Reed, which is a military hospital. Walter Reed in the military may have come up with not only a super COVID vaccine that protects against all strains, of, of COVID present and future, but one that helps fight some strains of the common cold as well. Will the military loving ultra right accept this new development or will they somehow manage to screw it up for the rest of us? This could be very exciting. Very exciting. It only cost 5 million dead. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm not saying whether anybody should get a, a vaccine. I'm not. This is not medical advice. No. No, no. Nay, nay. Nay, nay. Uh, just trying to get a sense. So whether you get this or not, go talk to your doctor. I'm serious. This is not just me, you know, CYA. I talk to people who have the official credentials. I'm just trying to get a general idea. I'm getting a feeling of, I mean, you don't get a vaccine in your forearm, but I'm getting a feeling right here. That's good. Potentially good. Suspension. Thank you, Rasslin Reed. That is cute. Out of uh, Rasslin Reed's is wearing an elf hat. All right, um, at your service. Go forth and be happy. That's what I want you to do. All right, I've got a sun card. I've got. Um, well, this is military. So. There are people who will say no to anything, but this feels like military people overseas. Is what this is Biden saying? Do it if it if it proves um, good. It's it's he's going to want it all over the military. That's the energy I'm getting now. If that's really the case or not, we'll have to see. Sorry, that's gonna be my eye. But um, I, I, I'm getting Biden. And he's being very stern about it. King of Cups again. 
Apparently I did not shuffle. Same thing. All right. Dr. Storm says a military has no choice. They sign their life away when they joined up. I hear you. Oh boy. All right, so. All right, 41. Snow Wolf had a question. Let's have a look. Will Arizona go blue in the next election? Will Arizona go blue? Blue Arizona. Arizona go blue. Suspension. See. Insult to injury. Page of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. There's not a single Democratic card here. I mean, there may be some shenanigans with either redistricting or I'm not sure what. But um, I don't. I don't think so. Purple. More blue. Oton. Thank you. I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Right. Arizona, more blue. Purple around the edges. Depends on the candidate. Queen of Wands. Judgment. Page of Cups. Yes, it's 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 moving in that direction. It's not there yet, but there's still some diehard you know, Trump wine drinking. Not that that still exists, but, you know, as opposed to the Kool-Aid, the Trump wine drinking uh, people there, a lot of retirees. Um, but it's election day, new Democrats getting in, higher wisdom, women's rights. Uh, so it could also be a possibility of some more the legislature trying to, to have some more shenanigans. So. Polly Wanda saying, if the moon's orbit magnetizes my vaccine particles, will I stick to my principles when pressed against the wall? I love that. Wow. Okay, so at 40, 44, no, 44 is 45. All right, 45. It's a question about schools. Let me shuffle here for a second. Biden is doing everything he can to keep schools open through the winter amid the latest COVID outbreak, pushing vaccines, working on making tests available for free, etc. Will he be successful? Basically, will Biden be able to keep the schools open? 
Oh, I might be able to keep the schools up. It feels pretty good. Five of one. <laughs> Those idiots at the school board meetings singing to Mariah Carey about horse tranquilizer, vacuum, paste, whatever. All right, Six of Pentacles, Star. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, King of Pentacles. Eh, working. Mm. Certainly in Republican states, they'll stay open. There's hope. It feels pretty good. You know, for all, I saw a, um, what was it? I saw a headline. It was somewhere. Was it overseas? No, I know it was overseas. Where was it? Where There was some place that was just hit really hard with the, um, with Omicron. Where was that? South Africa. It was saying that South Africa's uh, rush of uh, kind of mushrooming. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you. Oh, that was very kind. Uh, South Africa's um, Omicron COVID thing really just mushroomed, but apparently it's disappearing as fast as it appeared or it's, it's going away. Seriously, it was, it was the number one article this morning. Um, and now I can't, I don't see it at all. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick search for South Africa. South Africa has likely passed the peak of Omicron COVID cases, indicating a shorter wave for the U.S. In Omicron news, case drop may show South Africa's Omicron peak has passed. All right, so keep that in mind. I wanted to make sure I, sh I shared that with you. Um, so things are, they, they may not be as dire as people were afraid they, they might get. And, you know, uh, Andre from Astrology Alert, he was saying, we're just waiting for Jupiter to go into Pisces and, and things should get a bit better. So... Diana Cache is saying, I saw that too. It's a five week brush fire, then gone. Well, let's hope. Let's hope. Okay. Holly Booth, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Holly. Happy birthday. Okay. I'm not saying it'll end the pandemic, Wheezy Squeeze Box. I'm just saying that it, it looks like it'll. And the astrology looks good for things getting better rather than worse. And at this point, I'll take I'll take it, you know. Electra says Andre, the, uh, the astrologer, said according to the charts after the 20th of December. Um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Jupiter, Jupiter moves into Pisces on December 28th. So about five days from now, it's like next Tuesday, something like that. Yeah. One oh, happy Christmas Eve Eve. So. Okay. So. At 50 minutes in, Margaret Bassett had a question. Let's have a look here. 50. Okay. Now. 
has anyone brought, okay, Margaret Bassett is, is asking, has anyone brought up that attendees of the Reawaken America event in Dallas have become sick with anthrax-like symptoms? These are the cult members. Could it be they were passing around the poison Kool-Aid bowl? Well, they were drinking, weren't they, they drinking diluted bleach? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't put it, put it down. Put it down. No, no, put it down. Drink bleach. Have you lost your mind? No, put it down. Um, did they actually just pass around COVID instead? Reawaken America event in Dallas. Reawaken bringing you with, with JFK and JFK Jr. coming back from the dead, I believe is who we're talking about. Wow. Oh, boy. Um, Heidi, I, I, no, I, I, I just, I don't want these people, I don't want this, these horrible things happening to these people. They need, man, I would not wish brainwashing on anybody. And, and I don't, anyone who's brainwashed, I just want them to get better. I just want them to get out of that. Um... Polly wanted no, <sighs> no. Everybody, put down the bleach. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. I care. I care what happens to you. Do not drink the bleach at all. Quit it. Not dilute it. These poor brainwashed people. Hierophant. Now that is the Pope. That is the institutional religion. Devil. Well, you put these you put these two together and you we're starting to we're, we're leaning into a, toward cultish cultish stuff. Chariot. Okay, this is not good. Four of Swords, Page of Pentacles, very naive people. This is not going to end well for some of these people. And I hate to say that because that is not, I, I, want, I want them to be okay. I want them to be okay and go home to their families. Lisa Bennett saying, don't wish harm on those who are mentally and emotionally challenged. I'm with you. Mandy says, we have a family member who's fallen under their spell. I'm so sorry. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm not seeing full... Who are the tracksuit people with the, the sports shoes? Who thought a the comet was a spaceship? There's a spaceship behind the comet or something. Branch Davidian? Was that them? No. I can't remember. I'm not saying it's going to be full that, but it's not good. It's not good. These people are very, very much not in their right minds. I mean, there are people who have mental illness, which is its own issue, but you can take a perfectly otherwise sane person and brainwash them. You can. It's possible. And you can mess them up. Please go home. Please go home to your families. Hail Bop, that was it. That was it. Heaven's Gate, that was it. Thank you. Oof. Let's 
sad. Unbelievably sad. <sighs> B. Gray says, look it up. Factual news stories and sodium hypochlorite, which has been used as a water purifier. Um, my understanding is this is not, oh, we're just purifying the water. This is, Trump says, drink bleach. Apparently, it's much stronger than a water purifier. But, hey, if you you know for a fact that they're not drinking anything dangerous while they're waiting for JFK and JFK Jr. to rise from the dead, I'm all for it. B. Grace says it's chlorine, chlorine dioxide is different. Okay. Well, let's have a look. Let's, 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 let me go here. Um, what are, what is the name of this group again? Re Reawaken America. Dallas. Um, Oh, no, is this, wait. Reawaken America. This isn't the cultists in Dallas, is it? Two weeks ago, Reawaken America brings Eric Trump, Michael Flynn, and Alex Jones to San Francisco. A bunch of QAnon promoters got sick after a conference and they blame anthrax instead of COVID. Good news week. Um, it was during a tour in Dallas. Okay. Earlier this month, they claimed they became ill after they gathered in the green room during the event. Um, he later revealed that Joven Pulitzer, who has also promoted baseless claims of voter fraud, was very sick after attending the Reawaken, Amer Re Reawaken America tour event. So his word is the truth. Might be anthrax. They have been conflating two different things. They're paranoid. I'm not saying they're not sick. I'm saying they're paranoid. Electric Storm says anthrax is a deadly poison. They would be dead. Weezy Squeezebox says, were there sheep at the conference? Desrat responded, exploding sheep at the conference. Sis boom ba. Did, did you get some kind of long COVID? Because that'll do nasty things to you. Nasty things that don't make any sense on the surface. Holly and France says the anthrax was supposedly administered via the fog machine. Why was there even a fog machine at the event? The fog machine. There was anthrax in the fog machine. Wow, they are they are bedazzling their tinfoil hats, aren't they? Boy, just not not heavily burdened by logic, are you? Y 
you are gullible morons. I'm sorry. You just are. Go see a doctor. Get some real information from scientists. Ashley, oh my goodness, thank you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. You helped kick off the change in my life for the best it's been and got me through the start of this pandemic. You've been, you've taught me new ways of thinking and living and I can never thank you enough. You're Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. If I've done any good, I am so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy if I've done any good. Thank you. Hmm. Grandma Rose says, somebody's been reading too many action and adventure books. All right, so these morons are, um, wow. These morons are, yeah. All right, so these all right, for, okay, these idiots who say they've got the anthrax. These are the cultists. What's what's up with the what's up with the bleach thing? Um I'm gonna just put in drinking. Did 4% of Americans really drink bleach last year? Of these, 55 stated they had ingested at least one of three household cleaning chemicals. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm not getting uh, obvious news. Oh, Deborah. Deborah McCullough Hopkins. Mer Merry happy. I'm picking up what you are throwing down. Peace on earth. Absolute peace on earth. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. Okay, so Don Gubb says if there was anthrax about, you'd see culling of cattle, etc. Countries would be banning your animal products. Okay, be gray. So do you have the original news where they were saying who was drinking what? Because it's not obvious in the news. Rasslin Reed says, Americans aren't known for our smarts, are we? See, part of me is like, oh, come on. Nobody's really. It would be rare if someone was really that delusional, what have you. But then I've actually seen the video. Oh, oh the Dallas cultist people, the, the, the JFK cultist people, it's not going to end well. It's not going to end well. May be able to find it. Thank you, B. Gray. Anyway, I, but I saw the video where the guy was saying that Donald Trump is the son of General Patton, who's a direct descendant of Abe Lincoln. And then brought the Kennedys were somehow in there too. I think Fred Trump would have something to say about that, but okay. <laughs> Uh, Colleen, thank you. I love the hat. Did someone crochet it for me? No, actually. No, no, I bought it. There's, there's, a, very, there's, a, very, there were, there's a very sweet woman somewhere who, who did this. Oh, ugh, this is crazy. Oh, all right. Um, 105.30. Madison Cawthorn and his wife are divorcing after eight months of marriage. 
Um, is she going to be bringing up dirt on him? Is this going to get ugly? Is this going to get public? Uh, it is all, it is all crocheted. Every bit of it. Thank you, Karen. So let me, let me just put one of six. One of six fifteen. So Madison Cawthorn and his wife are getting divorced after eight months of marriage. Um, is it because he's just gone off the rails? Is it what's what's going on here? Because if things get ugly, she could, you know, is is she going to be spouting stuff that's going to make waves politically? Ashley says, I have my popcorn ready for ex Mrs. Cawthorn. Well, maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Well, it was eight months of marriage. It's okay. Plenty, plenty of time to rebuild, to move on from your life. But of course, it's always sad. King of Swords, Hanged Man. Ten of Pentacles. See, he was gone a lot. Six of Swords. And he was on a crusade. They got married and it feels like it was over as just about as soon as it began. He was gone. He's on this crusade and she's just enough. Enough. I mean, she's probably right wing, as it is, I would just logically guess, but um, there's right wing, and then there's just whew, being Republican, and then there's whatever Madison Cawthorn is turning into. So is there. It doesn't feel like she wants to talk necessarily, but she's young and she could use the money that's what it feels like okay so she may get a little something out of this but uh, she could she could use the money it feels like six of cups Emperor, Devil, King of Pentacles, Two of Wands. She was trying to, you know, let's start a family, let's have this life. And he was just all far right, firebrand, communicating the far right, I'm important, Trump. And oh wow. Jim Dave says Gates got his wife a bouquet of lollipops for Christmas. Dave, are you kidding? Please tell me you're kidding. Please tell me you're kidding. No to husbands out there. Don't do that. Unless, unless lollipops are really, really her thing. Don't do that. He's, Cawthorn is. All right, so is she going to blab about him? Someday. She's, she's going to tell her story someday. But is it sooner or is it going to be like decades from now? Electric Storm says this is the beginning of his downfall. Cawthorn. 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 It is heartbreaking. 
divorce is heartbreaking. Three of Pentacles, Temperance, Tower. Um, they do, 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 do. His family might actually want to give her a little money, just whatever they can afford. They might want to give her a little money just to keep her quiet. But he is going off the rails. Surprise. Shocking, I know. Um, so is this the... Is, is um, Madison Cawthorn, is he, he, is, is he just, just the beginning of the end where he's just that, he just goes yeeting himself off a cliff in um, rhetoric and political terms. Two of Wands. Far right communication. Cawthorn. Five of wands, wands, wands. Far right, far right. I get wands for fascism. Far, far right, far right. Empress, that's America. Queen of Pentacles. Those are Republicans. King of Pentacles. He's okay. It, it's it's America should go far right, and these these fuddy duddies, the old people in the um, even the Republicans in Congress should go. Talk about cult members who really need to get. Oh my gosh. You, you need decaf and to be deprogrammed. That's what Cawthorn needs. Cawthorn actually also needs copious amounts of uh, therapy. Don Gubb, what would the far right look like? Um, it's, it's fascism, it's authoritarian control and um, Women women lose a ton of rights and voting doesn't count and uh, you can buy, you know, guns and bubblegum machines and gumball machines and yeah, it's Tesrat says uh, Nazi uniforms in a Macy's window. Yeah. Yep. Man. Okay. 114. JR has a question. Now, I don't know how well I can answer this, but I can try. Because Tara is not good with timing. Uh, JR is asking, how long will it take for Puerto Rico to become a state? And forgive me how I'm saying Puerto Rico. I uh, my mouth is very dry. I've gotten to the end here, and uh, it's very hard to it's very hard to, to roll your R's and stuff when your mouth is dry. Puerto Rico, will you become a state anytime soon? You deserve to be treated better than you have. I can tell you that. Yeah, Gary Atkins, party like it's 1909. Queen of Cups. Under a democratic, there's more chance, the more the more Democrats are in power, the more likely it is that Puerto Rico becomes its, a state. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, King of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. It, it's going to happen. It's just 
it depends. The the likelihood goes up as the the power of Democrats goes up. The more Democrats or more control they have over um, Congress and Electra Storm is saying, does Puerto Rico want to become a state though? Someone independence from us. Oh, it, it 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 feels like it'll be good for them economically. It'll be good for them in representation. Um, well, give them full sovereignty or make them a state. This limbo nonsense. They're just, they end up being pawns in a bunch of different power play, power plays. Yeah, that's all I'm getting, I'm afraid. But, all right, a message for us at one 17. One 17 message for us. Have a look. One of my favorite things for years to do for years has been to meditate on Christmas Day. It is the most lovely energy. Just every all those little people making a little bit of effort to be nice, people bringing just a little bit of joy into other people's lives. Of course, I know there are horrible things that happen too, but it just adds up. All those little things, good little things, they add up and add up and add up. The energy is wonderful. Okay. Witnesses and evidence. I would have thought this would be something about Christmas, but it doesn't feel like that. Hmm. Okay. Message for us. Seven of swords, full, three of, sorry, four of pentacles, six of pentacles, six of cups. So, you know, it's, it's a hard, it's a hard year when inflation is, is pretty ugly, but be kind and we will be kind to each other overall. And really, there isn't really much of a, a more of a message than that. Be kind. Because all of that kindness adds up. Just a little. A little here, a little there. And all of these other things that are going on it can be easy to be led astray into all of this worry and what have you. But just do a small kindness. Find something about somebody you run into who you can compliment, you know, or you know, send, send somebody a quick message online that's just a funny meme or something. Just little, little bits of, little bits of kindness. It adds up. All right. Thank you for being here. That's going to do it for me for today, but I will be back tomorrow. I am here 365 days of the year on Christmas Day on Saturday. Um, I thought maybe we would have a look at the astrology. One of the things is uh, look at the astrology chart, the very much debated astrology chart, potential astrology chart of Jesus of Nazareth. Many, many people have been going over this digging, 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 and uh, I've, I've done some research, so I thought it might be interesting. All right, hang in there. You are not alone, and there are good days, there are good days ahead, okay? 
All right, and I, I at four, it is 1.34 p.m. here in Chicago. I, at four o'clock, I'll be over at Book Art Media doing creative sprints, but I'll be right back here tomorrow at noon. All right, take care. Thank you.